Hi guys, you my baby here. It's a vlog time. And this is going to be mainly for last weekend at Expo. So I'll show you what's came in the close-ups. Um, there's no giveaways being done that I can remember of. No, there wasn't. I don't think there was. Um, so that's what this is going to be based around is what happened at Expo. All the items that I've got, you'll see in close-ups. Um, there is a couple that I'm using just now. But obviously because there was, what, 12, 13, 14 items, I can't use them all at once. Because then the stuff that's to get reviewed wouldn't be getting used as much. Um, so I've stuck to just a few, which either sits here up at the computer here, or it sits downstairs at my, my seat down there. Um, I have got items in that won't be in the close-ups because I've done the close-ups during the week after my work. Yes, I have a job. <laughs> um, but more about that in a bit. So, you're not going to see the stuff that I've just purchased and received in the close-ups, as I say, because obviously it was done during the week, and I never had them in. I just got them in yesterday when I finished my work, um, but I will show you them, but you won't get the close-up look until next week. Um, so, first off, I'll tell you what happened anyway, before we do close-up. I was going to go and do close-ups. Um, packed my bags, jumped in the car, and headed down to Birmingham. On the way, I stopped at Gretna, because I was meant to meet up with Vic, Zan, and Gail, but they were already away by the time I got there, because I was running late as usual. That's what I was do. Um, so, got past Gretna. And it was about Carlisle. I received a phone call to say that I had a job and I'd be starting on Tuesday. So I was in my glory for that, for having a job to go to after the expo weekend. Um, brings money back in. So I was on a sort of semi-high um, by the time I got to Birmingham. Got to my hotel, got my key, went upstairs, and I was just that tired that I had about an hour's nap. And got up and went down to the bar, and I met a Belgium fella that was going to the expo there, and we were just talking away, and it turns out he's a reviewer over there, and his design is on. Um, RDA so I got a look at that I do have pictures I think they're still on my phone which I'll show you um, but I took the pictures when I was at Expo so I'll put the pictures in here if I can find them yeah, so that's looking interesting um, the company I was going to make it has fallen through, um, but they've done the prototype, so he's now going to Waterfall to do it. So it should be coming out probably within three months, I reckon, it'll be out. Because as I said, the prototype's done, um, Waterfall will just tweak it to how, I'm trying to remember the guy's name, was it Dinny? D-I-N-I or D-I-M-I um, I'll put a link down to his YouTube below and you can go and have a look at him um, so that was the Thursday night because I went down Thursday Friday morning went to Expo um, done about half an hour recording just but every time I was walking around I was getting stopped by vendors wanting to speak to me 
which wasn't it good because I kept storing it and I have let me just open it up 15 different videos just for walking around the hall once um, so that's going to take a long time to edit out and everything like that um, what a walk to get there though it took me half an hour to walk from a hotel to the halls and I was shattered by the time I got there um, so Friday I met up most of the vendors, gave them a business card um, did get some items on Friday <coughs> sorry um, so I was walking about most of the day Friday on the Saturday I walked about half as much as I did on the Friday and just sat in the was it the bar and chill area or the chill and, and bar area whatever it was called um, because that's where all the other reviewers from I'm going to get this wrong now Vape UK Network or is it UK Vape Network no it's Vape UK Network um, and that's where all they were sitting so I just joined all of them um, and sitting there boiling to them and whatnot. not um, then on the Sunday I done even less walking and sat more in this vape chill chill vape area I can never remember what it was called I did go down to the meet and greet area on the Friday and Saturday there was only about 20 seats there and everybody was using it the NNA was there that's where they were based but all the other seats everybody and nobody was just using it so it wasn't exactly a meet and greet area fair enough it was a point for people to meet up with each other but that was about it um, so I stayed there as I said Friday Saturday for about half an hour and then they went away again so if I go there again I won't be meeting anybody at a meet and greet area or that I'll be at the bar and chill area or chill bar area I'll have to get that right at some point <laughs> but um, because then you'll get to meet me and everybody else off the Vape UK network because we all sort of stayed in the same place for the full three days um, I never took any photographs because I forgot how forgetful am I yeah um, Yeah, and then after the Sunday I drove back up and I was back home for I think it was about 1 o'clock at night and I didn't even bother unpacking my bag or nothing I was in quick wash bed because I was just that shattering from walking about um, all weekend every time I sat down I would seize up every time I walked I was sore so I had to do a sort of 50-50 um, between walking and sitting and most of the time I just stand at the vape and chill the chill and vape, bar and vape and oh, whatever it was called um, yeah but I had a great time there anyway we'll go down, we'll do first looks of the items I've got and then we'll come back up and we'll talk a wee bit more about it um, so we'll go down now so first up we have this and this is the Freemax Firelook Mesh Tank nice blingy I've been using this because it's up for review this week. So that's the first one. The second one is this. And this is the Vapeston 
Avatar Nano. And it's using mesh coil as well. So that's going to be coming up. Next we have I better take that off. Yes. And it's the cool vape Arthur RDA. Just to show you the deck. There's wee knurls there that correspond with the sleeve. And it's got a full adjustable air hole. But more about that in the review. As you can see, I've not used that. Um, there's only one other, two other that I've used. Um, and I've got to show you. Right, so up next is this. That's Cool Vapor MGTK RDA. And the deck on this. And get this off. It's all you saw. Comes with squonk pin pre installed. Or did it? I can't remember. Um, I think it did. And again, I've got full. Orange are still dry, so I can't really turn it. But it does turn. That's that one. Next we have this. No, it's the desi desire design <laughs> mad dog RDA with the nicking list. Um you can get white that I need to show you the bottom of that because that's for the lift you can take the lift off and use it as a standard RDA I'm not sure if I've kept it on that on top I've got that off and there's the deck for that. It's not nothing we've not seen before. It's nothing new. And this ring here should potentially come off. Because that belongs with that I'm assuming. There's the bottom of it. If it'll focus on it. My dog. Best that I can lift. Next, we're on to the first pod. And this is the Hexa pod. Peel it out. And you can see it's tobacco. And it goes in. So that's a Hexa pod. I don't know how much to that. Next we have another RDA. 
and this is the Helvet Aquatus sardia and I should have kept it on yet I broke this off I can just say the name there and there's your deck I thought we'd try all these. I'll we'll do it nearer the time of review. Um, there is a few that I've started to use. Next, that's this. Right, that's a, the one that I can't show you. Um, I'll show you the outside. I'm not going to show you the deck or nothing just yet. Focus. It's ass vape Zeta. This is a good VRTA. Um, this isn't the final version because the design on the air foreign on the top is going to change as far as I've been told. Um, you do have a full control and it is mouth to long as well but I'll talk more about this up top but you're still not getting to see the deck from it so up next is I should really lube these o-rings when I take them apart to have a look. Is this. And this is a waterfall recurve idea. Yeah, I know my bear holes aren't lined up right. Oh, I put it on too much. I've got them all sitting on my wee stands for the time being. Come on, focus. There you go. Yeah, so, I think there's already reviews out for this anyway that you can go and have a look at. But I've seen it, so I thought I'd buy it. I've got that coming as well. Next is this. Yeah. I've seen it. I got it for a good price. Um, that's, that's Modest Pumper 18. And I do like to call it. So I've got that coming. And we've got this. And this is the ass vape. Ass vape. Gabriel. I think that's actually pretty nice. Single battery mod again. Chip. Fire button up down five ten. Yeah, I don't know about the color yet. Um, I was going to go and get the Starwood version of this, but it was like a hundred pound more than what this was, so I decided to go for this. Um, next, it's this second pod system that I've got and that's the smoking vapor my pod it lights up it walks hopefully you can see that that's me locked it oh come on that's 
foot back on. And that's taking so long. That's that wee button there. That's your button to walk it and unlock it. I have got the one with the writing on it. Don't ask me what it says. Um, don't even know which way is up and which way is down. Yeah. Um, there's a bit of fingerprint magnet and it works. Hold that up. Can we fill it? Which is good. And yes, I have been using this quite a lot. Um, I've got some mango neck salts in it just now. But that'll be coming up for review too. That's later on. And last but not least is this. And it's the Votec via 240. Fire button up, down, charge port. No, not charge port. It'll be firmware upgrade port. There's a bottom. Set a 510. And to get the batteries in and out, you pull, comes off, you push that along and put your batteries in. So you can replace your cover on this because if I pull this one here, a wee bit more force, it comes off too. I don't know if you can see it, but there is an o-ring there to stop your juice running down to the inside. I thought I'd better show that than now since I took it off. And that's it. And that's all the course up stuff. I'll get you back up top. Oh no it's not. I did get some juice. So I better show you. I have opened them out to smell them. Um, I'll just put them in giveaways. Because I can't see me using any of them. Can I actually read that? The rain's that wee. Is it green tea with... I'm trying to use the camera to see it. Is that honey? Yeah. The writing is so weird on that. But I'll never use it, so I'll just give them away. And I've got some naked fish stingray. Um, and I've got some nip salts for when it, for in the my pod. So I've got Dragon Dream. 20 milligram, yeah. A peachy. I've not tried these yet. I've only tried the mango that's in it. Um, some strawberry whip. And last but not least, when I find it, pink lemonade. And they four are all nick salts. Um, I think that's everything. Oh, no. Oh. I won a giveaway that the Vaten Vic and the rest of the crew from UK shows it. Um, so I won this. It's a Geek Vape Blade kit. But since I've already got this one, what I'm going to do is I'll. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It'll be a giveaway of some sort. It may go into the 500 sub, or I may do a giveaway on its own for it. And that's. The, is it Starry Night version? I think it is because I prefer this colour. It's a sort of 
bluish colour and it just looks so much better than this one so that's everything that I got you've seen everything that I got there and um, there is a few items that I've been using like obviously the is it a firelight mesh tank? I've been using that because it's up for review this week. I'll probably review it or do the recording for it tomorrow and try to think when it goes up. I think it's midweek so it'll be about Tuesday before I do that top part. I'll get the close ups done um, and it'll just be that top part I'll have to do. But I am enjoying using it um, with the mouse coil, it's in it. Um, what else is up for review? Oh yeah, the Future IR7 kit, it's up for review. Um, I took it to Expo with me, just to give me more time using it. Um, is not too bad actually. Yeah. There is a few niggles I've got with it which I didn't like about it. But you'll have to wait to the review to find that out. Um I've also got the wire kit, wire kit. Um I took that to Expo with me as well. Um, and I thoroughly enjoy using this. I do. It's a good kit, this. Even just getting either the mod or the tank itself, they are pretty good. So they're up for review as well this week. I had to add this one because I've got so much stuff coming. Before I started to record this, I got a text message for DHL saying they're sending a partial. Don't know who it's from. So, it'll be coming in. And it'll be stuff I'll have to get reviewed. So, I may have to move stuff about on my review queue. Because the way I've showed you in the first weeks is going to sort of be the order that I was going to review them in. Um, but obviously the, the two that came in yesterday, which is a SX Mini G Class, yeah, I'm liking this. The menu system's a bit a wee niggle for me at the moment because I'm not used to it, but I do like it. It feels nice in the hand. Mm. Once I get used to the menu system, it'll be easier. But I have got it connected to my phone just now, which does make it a wee bit easier for me. But I do like this a lot. So you're going to see this a lot until it's, well, even once it's reviewed. Mm. So yeah, I've got a G Class. Mm. Another one that came in was the Pulse 80 watt bottom feeder. And that's the cool vape Arthur on top of it. Because mm. that's well, both of them are up for review next week. Not next week, week after. So I'll be using that all week. Um, and what else is there? The Vapeston Mesh Tank. Is it Vapeston Mesh Tank? Yeah, the Vapeston Mesh Tank. Or Mesh Nano, or Vapeston Nano. Yeah, no, not next one it's <laughs> I'll get it right yeah it's the Vapeston Avatar 
nano mesh tank or it's a mesh coil so it's a mesh tank um, let me just check if I pull up my gallon there yeah the vapes and avatar nano tank it's using a mesh coil, just like um, the file has got a mesh coil on it. I'll have to see if they're interchangeable. But I don't think that coil that's in this will go with that. <coughs> um, yeah, so I got the two in yesterday. Along with a bald map that I've not even put down yet it's still in its wrapper so that's what you've got to see all the time in my reviews because um, this Van de Vaet one that I'm using just now it's just too big it takes up just about the full length of my area and one side's got tanks and muds and it's getting harder to get into the centre of it because at the other side there's nothing because that's obviously where the monitor is um, but yeah that's my pod this is good um, I've got a wee story about this though. On the was it Friday? Yeah, on the Friday I went to Evolution Vaping because they were selling it. Um and I really wanted one. So I went up, asked for one, the colours wanting, which was this one. Um handed over my money and they refused it. Plain blank, like it refused my money because it was Scottish, and I was like, "But it's legal tender, and all money's made in sterling, or it's all, all money's got money." Mm. So again, all money has got sterling on it, which is in Scotland, um, and still plain blankly refused. Um, so I got my money back, and that was it. I thought that was almost all it was selling these at the time um, and I noticed that they had the G class as well so later on in the day I went to the Yehi stall um, and they weren't selling they were like over there there's a stall selling them um, so I couldn't even get the G class when I was there because I knew they wouldn't accept my Scottish money so that's one company I won't be buying from ever, is Evolution Vaping. They're just crap for not taking Scottish money when it is legal tender over here anyway. Um, just in case you're in our country. So I can't force you not to buy it, but I can mention to you that they're fine taking electronic money but they're not fine taking proper notes from someone from Scotland if it's a Scottish note so if they're not taking my hard cash they're not getting my electronic cash <coughs> I need a drink that's a bit strong Um, yeah, so I'll never be purchasing from them, and that's why I got my J class from Vaping 101 because I knew they had it on their site. Um, but I was wanting to wait until this Sunday, till it was my fifth year, smoke free, to purchase it as a present to myself for being off them that long. But as it worked out, I couldn't get one. 
<clears throat> um, all because evolution wouldn't take my hard earned money. Um, back to where I was talking about anyway. Um, I did make a few contacts. The free max tank I got given to me. Uh, the vape stun I got from free max as well. So I think that's probably a sister company of them. Um, so I got they too. The desired design mad dog with the lift. I got hit as well. I got hit on the Sunday. Probably about what half an hour before I left. Um, so I got that. The Hexa pod kit I got given to me. They were giving them away left, right, and centre to everybody. Never heard of the company. Um, the pods are actually not too bad. The first one I got was broken. Natural device itself. Um, it would light up but it wouldn't produce any vapour from the pod, it's just the pod itself so it was definitely the battery part that was broken so I sent, gave it back and they gave me another one which is pretty good of them um, there was no questions asked it was just like alright took my box away and gave me another box um, the pumper 18 I got on the Saturday I got direct from the company themselves and I only paid was it £60 for it yeah it was £60 I paid for that which is a good enough buy um, because most companies are selling it for over the 100 so I was like £6 neighbor, there you go and I got no problem which was good that must have been about the best buy of the weekend, except from the things I didn't have to pay for. But out of everything that I bought, that was the best buy. Um, yeah, so I gave out about 80 cards. I just have to wait and see how many actually contact me now. Um, I'm just trying to see. What else? Um, and I can't wait to start using it. It's what, a couple weeks down the line. Because I could use it for some of the RDAs I've got to review. Um, I'm just checking my calendar here to see. Then, so I can use it when I'm doing the hell vape. Mm -hmm. And the NGTK. Yeah, so I can start using it next week, which is going to be good. Because I'll just change between them. Um, obviously when I'm at work I'll take my G box because it's dual battery so I can not all last all day. Um, it saves me taking batteries. And then I come home I'll just put it straight on the pumper. Yeah I think that's what I'll do. Just so I can use it, just start using it. Um, because I don't want to take it to work. Same with the J class hit, will never go to work. The last thing I want is it falling out of the water and smacking off the ground. So it will never be at work so you won't see any um, hand checks with it when I'm at work. That's one of the reasons why I've started using it just now. Rather than waiting until it's about ready to get reviewed. Mm. Because it's not going to get taken out of the house. And I do want to give it the same length of time of use as I would if I was going to be reviewing it. Like 
next week. Um, so it's the only way to do it. Right guys, this is Sunday afternoon and um, last night when I finished recording my vlog I went to edit all of my expo footage yeah it worked out to be about an hour long rather than 30 minutes so I've done a separate video for the expo footage I'll put a link down below where you can go and watch it so I've had to re-record this end part of the vlog um, hopefully I won't miss anything that I said last night but we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. Um, I've not even got nothing ready. There was a few things. Um, I can't remember if I had it said already or not. But I'll show you again. If I've showed you, I've showed you. Um, it's only got to add a couple of minutes onto this. Hopefully. <laughs> Don't know. But I got this at Expo. And it's just like a coil tool. One thing is it's smaller and it's made out of metal rather than plastic. I've not checked it yet for tolerances or anything like that but I will do a video for it um, so there was that and there was some bands from Ass Rape I've got two of them, I've got one Friday and one Sunday both are the same so it's So I've got two of them. Um, the one thing that I will say is Expo, there was a lot of pod systems. I think there was more or just about, about as much pod system stalls as there was juice. Probably a bit more juice than but it was like that sort of was um, and all the juice that was there there was a hell of a lot of and um, I don't want to say it in case it affects my channel but the one thing that channels have been getting straight for or shut down um, there was a lot of them getting sold there as well which isn't very nice to see especially for reviewers or people on YouTube and, and actually showing them but hey ho, I'll check it upload my video and see what happens um, if the video does get shut down or my YouTube channel I have created a Vimeo account, V-I-M-E-O I'll put a link down below and you can go and subscribe to that just in case anything does happen to my YouTube so you'll still get my videos or my reviews and my vlogs um, yeah so I've set that up just in case something does happen to my YouTube channel for the sake of use still get my reviews um, I think that was all. Oh, last week's vlog. I had one comment on it. Not last week's vlog. A fortnight ago was the vlog. There was no vlog last week. I was at Expo. A fortnight ago was the vlog. There was one comment um, from Graham. Nice vlog, Matt. Good luck at Expo. Hope you meet lots of new contacts. Sorry I can't get down in there myself to meet you but maybe next time just enjoy yourself and drive carefully see when you get back thanks Graham um, I did make some new contacts but what 
a lot of the companies were saying is that my subscription on YouTube is too low for them to send stuff to me to review. So that got me thinking about sending companies an email stating that companies that support my channel at the moment, later on down the line when I get more companies sending me stuff, their stuff will be prioritised over newer companies that send in stuff. But I don't know if I should actually send that email out to them all, all the companies or not. Because um, on one hand, they may start sending stuff, and on the other hand, they may not, and just say, well, we're not going to send them anything because they've got to be pushing their items back in the queue. So it's a 50 50, and I don't know what I should do. So I need you to inform me somehow, put a message down below stating um, send email or leave it alone. Something along the lines would help. Um, because after all, yeah, it is my channel, it is me at Pixel I re review, unless I ask you to say what you want reviewed. Um, but still for use to see what products I'm getting in and what I think of them. And show you cons and pros when I remember to do them. Um, but it's still part of your channel as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I need a wee bit of help with that. I don't know if I should send it or don't. Um, I'm going to look for that viewer. It's Demi Crazy Damper. That's it. D I M I space Crazy space Damper. That's his YouTube channel. If you want to go and subscribe to him, you're more than welcome. Um, just try to think what else there was on the second half of my vlog because I had recorded it up to where I said I'm going to show you the footage I took at Expo but obviously that's not going to be in this now because it's got, it's got to have its own file let's try to remember what was said after that um, and I can't remember Yeah, I think that was about it. Yeah, if not, I'll get it next week. Right, thanks for watching this. Please go and check out my expo video. I know I'm going to be late with it. I should have actually checked the footage on Monday when I claim got home um, to see how long it was going to be and see how much I was splitting it because I could have edited it all and saved one file but I've just saved it there and it took two hours to save it after editing so yeah but we'll get it there next year I will edit the expo footage or wherever I go any events and edit it when I come home get the file saved and see how long it's going to be to see if I have to do a separate um, video for it like what I'm doing now or just put it into a vlog if it's short enough but that's my fault it's not your fault it's my fault but in saying that it is the first time I went to such a big event like that and took footage because I went to Vape Fest last year, I never took no footage at all. Um, because I didn't have my camera with me. Fair enough, I had my phone. But I didn't take any footage. Where now I'm starting to take footage when I'm away. I'm just going to have to try and do a video separate, I think. And keep the vlog just as a vlog. 
But you've seen what's coming up for review in the next couple of months. Right, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching us <laughs> again. And I will see you next week. I will try and get the vlog out on Saturdays now. If everything goes to plan. So, see you next Saturday. Bye for now.